Hi everyone, I'm using the Mystical Tarot for our weekly reading from Monday the 29th of April through to Sunday the 5th of May. So I'm setting the intention for the reading for the highest and greatest good for the collective or anyone who views this video. I'm asking for some guidance for Monday. There we have the King of Swords. And she's female in this deck for, for Tuesday, the Emperor, Empress, Wednesday, the Sun, Thursday, the Ace of Swords. Friday, the Ace of Cups. Saturday, the Magician. Sunday, the Wheel of Fortune. And the Death card is showing itself for Sunday. So we have the King of Swords for Monday, who is female. So this is that balance of the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. The King of Swords is very cool, very connected. Doesn't get caught up in any drama, but because we're bringing the female in, the energy of the Divine Feminine in, it softens it, it softens this energy so that we connect our head and our heart, our intuition and are guided by our intuition. Also Monday, Mars is in conjunct with Neptune in Pisces. So this is a very powerful conjunction where Mars, the warrior, is going deeper into spirituality asking us to go deeper into our spirituality, to listen to our intuition, to be guided by the loving messages, the feelings of, of compassion, of, of joy that guide us on our path. And you can see there she has, her crown is lit up, so is a magic wand and it's lit. So definitely we're receiving a downpouring of of spiritual wisdom on Monday to sit and we'll, we'll receive it in through our crown and into our heart so bringing our head and our heart into alignment also on Monday this is beautiful Venus moves in to Taurus and she she rules Taurus so she's at home in Taurus so this is where the feminine's coming in with the masculine the feminine bringing that nurturing that love Venus is the planet of love in Taurus it, it everything starts to blossom and grow so this is a wonderful energy for Monday a real relief after everything that we have been going through of late so Monday just staying, opening up, allowing those downloads to come in, allowing them to activate within us. We may not feel them at the time, sit in silence. And as we sit in silence, that silence holds gold. It holds divine wisdom. So as we sit in silence, we open our crown, our mind becomes still. And we are open to receiving the downloads from the, the higher consciousness. Tuesday, we have the Empress. So Tuesday is when Mars moves in to his own sign of Aries. So we have Venus at home in Taurus and Aries at home. Uh, Mars at home in Aries. So this is a beautiful energy of balance. So for Tuesday, we have the Empress. 
So the divine masculine, the divine feminine coming together, anchoring this light into our earth star chakra. You can see there, there is just blossoms all around her. So this is a time of spirit, of, of divine abundance and spiritual growth, but feeling the space now, feeling the, the energy of light within us and within our lives so this is the empress bringing us prosperity bringing us growth happiness and joy so the, and as mars moves into his sign of aries getting ready for the next two year cycle there so this is very very auspicious energy that we're entering now wednesday we have the sun wednesday is beltine this is a beautiful celebration of the sun this is where we light bonfires to to connect with the sun to give thanks to the sun for bringing life so wednesday first thing in the morning as the sun rises at dawn go out and just put some of the morning dew gather it and place it on your face place it on your chakras powerful rejuvenation is is held in the memory of that that morning dew light fires uh, light a bonfire in the evening to give thanks to the sun the return of the sun so this is the return of summer so this is a beautiful day of celebration so a wonderful week where where the divine masculine and the divine feminine are at home and this allows us to go deeper into our spirituality to connect with our own sun within us that brings us joy which brings us so much happiness thursday we have the ace of swords and this is new ideas coming in new epiphanies so this is a week of downloads of of new opportunities and as we sit in in the quiet and listen to and allow those thoughts to come in and cultivate in so that we listen to the thoughts that empower us that encourage us that bring through wonderful ideas and solutions to any problems that we may have and disregard the rest because as we are moving up and, and connecting to the higher frequencies there is only loving messages there in the higher frequencies the lower frequency is our ego so if any doubt starts to come in to really let it fade away now that's our ego we are connecting we are connecting our head our heart and and listening to the higher and higher mind the high the ideas that are coming in now the messages from god the messages from our angels and our spirit guides clear communication with spirit so this is a wonderful day and she uh, he has the key there the key to unlocking our greatest potential and it's in those happy thoughts it's in the thoughts that are limitless letting go of limiting beliefs now we are unlocking and connecting to a ocean of of possibilities as we've moved through and disregarded those old beliefs that we've had about ourselves knowing that we're, we are all divine source energy within us that we are connecting with every loving thought with every compassionate thought that is a connection to divine source energy friday we have the ace of cups so we have the ace of swords the ace of cups this is new beginnings this whole week is one of new beginnings going deeper into our hearts listening to our hearts allowing our heart to navigate and to guide us and to really appreciate the relationships we have this is love 
this week, the, this whole week with Mars being at home, Venus being at home in their own zodiac signs that they rule is one of divine relationships. So any relationships that come in, there's a shift in energy in resist in um, the uh, uh, an energy that has been in resistance in a in a in a previous relationship or in a relationship that we are in is starting to shift so have patience don't try and force things don't try and put any kinds of demands in relationships let things flow let things divinely flow so we have the new beginning here of and this is the head and the heart coming into alignment so as we bring our thoughts and open our mind to open up to this downpouring of spiritual wisdom that's coming through it starts to activate within our heart Saturday we have the magician this is Mercury the planet of communication now going direct still in shadow but started to move direct on the 25th of April, feeling that shift, really feeling the effects of the retrograde this time, personally, but felt the complete relief of the of Mercury moving direct. So Mercury is the planet of communication and communicates to the higher realms, to the the gods. So we're receiving divine magic with this damp pouring of light that's coming in. The magician reminds us that we have everything within us. She sat there with a swat, reminding us of, of our beauty, of grace. She has a magic wand, there is all kinds of abundance flowing out of that hat and that's within us something's opening something is coming into alignment that's going to emanate and resonate and and vibrate from us that's going to bring us into such a beautiful and magical time so this is a wonderful time of writing down our, our manifestations, writing out a script of our lives, especially on Beltane. If if we take any if we do anything on on Wednesday, this is new beginnings, this it will it's got the power of the sun behind it. So what wh whether it is finishing writing a book, whether it's launching a business whatever it may be you whatever we do on on wednesday it's got the power of the sun behind it and this brings divine magic things happening into in our lives that as it, it happens as if by magic getting our head out the way allowing the energy to flow through us and create all around us divine magic then we are the wheel of fortune. Things starting to change now. And the death card. So as things start to change, there's a death, there's a, there's a death of, of the stress. There's a death of us, us being limited. We can't fit in that any longer. We have an energy within us, a soul, that's as old as time within us that is going through its its journey here in this incarnation and as we listen to our soul we will be guided into those times of soul soul and spiritual growth so as we grow it's it is like the butterfly in the chrysalis it gets all mushy we've gone through that mushy time and we're now starting to transform into a, a authentic, a, a being of 
divine divine connection of the divine masculine and the divine feminine coming together and creating through us divine creations because everything that we place our hands on everything that we say everything that we think starts to become our reality so anything that's not of our divine essence our divine truth now is is falling away the ego i just feel we've gone through so much and we're having a death of the ego that has been there to protect us sometimes overly protect us, remind us that we're not good enough, reminds us that we can't trust, reminds us of all those things that keep us limited. There's a death of that, but from where that, the death of those false beliefs that we've had about ourselves, that false conditioning, there is growth coming within our ribs, there is flowers growing now through our heart and a blue butterfly so this is a beautiful time of transformation being able to breathe now being able to stretch being able to be empowered and stand in that place of light and trust we have been guided we have been spiritually guided we are spiritually and divinely supported take a breath and feel that and feel that and bring ourselves into light alignment with that so such a beautiful week enjoy and i'm sending so much love and thank you for all the new subscribers thank you so so much and for your comments as well it really does mean so much thank you so much god bless